Hello everyone, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, we will learn about how to create a dynamic calendar in Excel worksheet. Here you can see that I have already created a calendar which is totally dynamic and uh, I have used only uh, Excel ba basic Excel functions. I have not utilized any macro code in creating this and uh, no advanced Excel uh, functions. Just simple basic function and some formatting and that's it. Okay, and this uh, calendar is uh, you know dynamic. So you, uh, here you can enter any of the you know year and you can select any of the month for that for uh, that specific year. And this calendar will auto be automatically changed based on the uh, given value in this particular cell, like this one for year and uh, this is for you know uh, a month. So let's enter uh, 2019. And as I am recording this video in May 2019, and the uh, today date is uh, 4th of May. Uh, 2019 so uh, let's uh, select a uh, may basically and uh, okay so now you can see that it's a uh, it's this calendar has started showing uh, the calendar for may 2019 right and today is as uh, 4th of may and today is saturday so you can see that uh, saturday has been highlighted in, uh, saturday has been highlighted with uh, a blue color right so this is dynamic and uh, no, you can use this calendar whenever uh, you need uh, to prepare a calendar on worksheet and uh, want to showcase uh, some value or highlight some dates in your reports then you can use it and uh, use it this dynamic calendar right and it's very very easy to create this uh, calendar so let's uh, let's create this uh, calendar from scratch to do this just uh, press ctrl n right and uh, uh, save this workbook to uh, to save this just play, uh, press f12 and just give the name as dynamic calendar in worksheet exercise right now uh, just uh, rename the sheet as dynamic dynamic calendar okay just go to view tab and remove the grid lines right and now uh, we as we need to uh, create a seven uh, a basically a table for seven rows and seven columns so let's uh, select uh, it from you know d7 basically from here so d7 to uh, j7 and let's go to home tab basically and apply the border all border okay now st uh, start writing uh, the monday let's caps lock on monday tuesday Saturday and Sunday right now select the uh, select the range from D7 to you know J7 and uh, go to home tab and then uh, select the font as copper plate so copper plate you know so not the bold one just select the lighter one right make it a uh, center aligned middle aligned right just click on bold and font size should be 13 so let's increase the font size even 13 right and uh, fill color should be gold accent this one okay so now we have successfully created you know uh, on the header part of the calendar that is you know now select the uh, uh, range like columns basically all columns from d d to j right click on uh, uh, and width and set as uh, column weight that's for 8.43 that's the default just keep it as it is now select the row so from 7 to 14 right click on it and row height should be 24 okay now click on ok right and uh, as we have created the uh, the header part and, and the calendar right all the cells let's move to a uh, previous calendar right and now we need to create this one uh, for to enter the year as well as to select the month here right so let's move to exercise sheet uh, worksheet basically and uh, let's minimize the size of this particular row right now merge uh, the cell uh, d5 to e5 now go to home tab and click on merge and center okay and uh, again uh, select the f f5 to gh5 and go to home tab and then 
click on merge and center right now select both the uh, both the range like d5 uh, from d5 to h5 and uh, go to uh, uh, like home tab select the font as century century right and uh, size should be 12 uh, make it uh, center aligned and middle aligned right select the select the font uh, like uh, fill color as uh, gold accent for lighter 80 percent right now uh, enter uh, the value here 2019 and now we need to uh, create the drop down here so before creating a drop down let's apply border so just select the range control one and uh, just uh, select the color as you know uh, blue and the, select the double line okay all right now select the uh, uh, cell from f5 to h5 that is already merged again press ctrl 1 and you know just uh, select uh, this one uh, dotted line and select the color as uh, black and then apply the left side border right so we need uh, we have created this one uh, let's uh, get the drop down uh, uh, to create the drop down we need to know uh, give the reference uh, like we need to uh, write down month from jan to december january okay and let's uh, use fill handle to fill uh, from jan to december okay now it's done now let's go to uh, select the f5 press press alt d l so once you will press the alt d l shortcut key then it will open the data validation window right in data validation window just uh, click on settings and in allow drop down just select the list and in source just provide the ranges where our month months are available so it is available in from b7 to b18 okay now click on okay okay so now you can see that uh, it has started showing so let's select may as of now right and now we need to uh, generate the date basically uh, what is date first date of selected months so to do that in just apply the formula that is date right and in that uh, date uh, you can see that there are three parameters uh, which is required first one is year the second one is month and the third one is date uh, day basically so let's uh, for year just give the reference of this cell and uh, just uh, press f4 to make it you know absolute reference right now put the comma now we need to uh, find the month basically right so uh, to find the month let's match uh, let's use the match function okay and uh, look up value select the, this one the selected month may again uh, press f4 to uh, make it you know a fix uh, uh, absolute reference right and just put comma and we need to provide the lookup array so for lookup array just select the months uh, from like b7 to b18 uh, right and again uh, just uh, press it uh, like press f4 to make it uh, absolute and now press a comma and then zero it means we need to uh, exact match okay so now we have passed a uh, year and the month number okay and let's put comma and uh, enter one as a day right close the bracket and press enter okay so now you can see that uh, you know it has started showing uh, the number basically the date uh, in this particular cell let's uh, click on j and we need to apply a, a weekday function right so weekday just select the weekday and you uh, know start a uh, bracket and then provide the reference so we need to pass its uh, no, date in this particular weekday function then just select this one that is i5 which is date and press f4 to make it absolute reference right and just put comma and you can see that there are a lot of you know uh, uh, return type that is one two three uh, so we need to select uh, you know three as a reference now uh, click on uh, so uh, once you click on uh, you know uh, like so this formula gives the output as two so now we need to utilize this uh, number while calculating the day of the month so let's uh, select the d8 press uh, equal sign and select the date Again, uh, press F4 to make it absolute reference and then minus uh, this one, 2, right? And press F4. 
so closed so now you can see that you know uh, it's showing 29th April 2019 now click on uh, like uh, select the E8 like press enter and select the reference of this cell and then plus one okay now just uh, drag this and press ctrl r to fill this same formula and ctrl d to uh, fill the same formula right okay now select uh, like uh, this these are the blank cell basically so we need to provide a formula so the formula for this one it should be the sunday uh, plus one the last date uh, for this week plus one right and uh, fill the same formula below press ctrl d right select all the cells uh, from uh, starting from d uh, d8 to uh, j13 uh, and uh, press ctrl 1 right go to number and just give the uh, uh, you know, formatting style as you know only dd so we need to showcase only a day not the entire date it's like full date okay so just press dd and click ok so now you can see that it has started reflecting on the day only now select the entire range from uh, you know uh, d8 uh, to j13 and go to uh, home tab make it uh, you know center alignment and middle alignment right and font as britannica bold britannica bold right and font size should be 12 okay now uh, fill the color uh, with uh, uh, pick this one this color right and uh, for saturday and sunday just change the fonts uh, font from black to you know the blue this one okay now we uh, we need to uh, we have to apply uh, the uh, conditional formatting so that uh, the dates which do, uh, which doesn't belong to this uh, particular uh, selected month should be uh, uh, should have you know different background like back color as well as the font uh, uh, either font color so select all these cells and go to a uh, home tab then conditional formatting and then new rule okay and in new uh, new formatting rule and just select the use as use a formula to determine which cell to format right and uh, in this just just uh, give the reference of uh, no, d8 basically right and just press uh, f4 to, uh, like uh, to switch from absolute reference to uh, you know dynamic reference right and this should be less than this one the date available in i5 okay so if any of the date is less than this then uh, the color of you know fill color should be white and font color should be you know, gray right click on ok again ok now you can see that uh, is it 29th and 38th you know uh, both the dates are not belonging uh, does not belong to you know the may and that's why it started showing the, this color okay now we need to apply the conditional formatting to those days which are not the part of may like uh, which belongs to uh, june so uh, let's uh, select this as well again and go to conditional formatting like home tab then conditional formatting and then uh, click on new rule right and in new form uh, new formatting rule win uh, window right just select the use formula to determine which cell to uh, format now click uh, in the like apply the formula so let's select uh, d8 and press f4 to switch from absolute to dynamic range right and press greater, greater than sign and we need to apply a month like right? a function end of month end of month and we need to uh, give the reference of this right and comma zero so what it will give the end of the month so whatever the month has been selected here uh, this formula will uh, provide the end month right uh, like 31st may 2019 and if any of the date available here is greater than uh, this month this particular uh, date then that should be uh, like the back uh, back color should be white and the font color should be you know gray so let's apply the formatting fill color select white right 
and again go to font and in font uh, color uh, select the gray as a font color right click on ok and again ok so now you can see that we have successfully applied you know uh, the formatting and all the things now we need to hide uh, these uh, all these details which are you know uh, which are the required but uh, not for user only for calculation point of view so just uh, select this uh, okay and press control 1 and uh, in uh, once you uh, press control 1 then it will open the format cell dialog box in uh, number uh, go, click on number and go to custom and in custom just provide the type as you know uh, semicolon three times semicolon okay click on okay now you can see that it's a it's not reflecting over here now again do the same for uh, you know i5 and j5 so uh, just select i5 and j5 press uh, control 1 right and again uh, in format cell click on number then custom and provide the formula as three semicolon one two three right so three semicolon click on okay now you can see that it's not showing now select the uh, you know uh, columns from d5 uh, to uh, sorry d to j and right click on uh, these uh, columns and column width and just change the column width uh, from uh, like uh, to, to 8.43 click on ok so now we can see that we have successfully created this uh, calendar let's uh, select any of the date any of the month basically so from june now you can see that in a it started showing the uh, and the date for June and for October you can change the uh, uh, you know year as well and let's enter 2020 and select the in January so you can see that uh, it's started showing the calendar for January as well so this is you know uh, uh, one of the best way to create a calendar with the simple basic uh, you know Excel uh, formula as well as some formatting Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe and comment. Have a good day. Bye-bye.